This is AS Stats. We are on Unit 2 and we're looking at stem and leaf diagrams and this then is example 8. So 8 sticks measure these 8 lengths here. Draw a stem and leaf diagram and use it to find the median and the interquartile range. This is continuous data so we need to round then to two significant figures. So each of these then the two significant figures is going to be 4.7 5.2, 5 5.9, 4 5.4, 5 5.8, 5 6.2, and 4.2. So let's first of all do our unordered stem and leaf diagram. Four. 5, 6, so 4, 5, 6, 4.7, 5.2, 5.9, 4.7, 5.4, 5.8, 6.2, 4.2. 4, 5, 6, so we're going to then have 2, 7, 7, 2, 4, 8, 9, and then 2, and remember our key, so that means 4.7. Centimeters. Just seeing if I have space in it. Do a bit more. We need to squeeze things up quite tight here. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of space, but that's okay. Uh, median and IQR. So median position. There's eight of them. So eight plus one over two which is four and a half. I mean, that's nice and straightforward. Therefore, my median is equal to 5.2 plus 5.4. Where am I getting that from? One, two, three. There's the fourth one. There's the fifth one. So excitingly, 5.2 plus 5.4 all over two is equal to 5.3. I hope you don't think I'm insulting your intelligence here. Obviously, there's a list of eight things, and we're looking halfway in between the fourth and the fifth. But I'm just trying to establish these wee formulas. Whenever it gets a bit more complicated, then it's kind of nicer to have these so we know what we're doing. Um, interquartile range is equal to Q3, take away Q1. So... Uh, the Q3 is going to be, so there's your cutoff gap there, and so we have these four pieces of data here, so we're going to go here, so halfway, so it's 5.85, take away halfway in between 7, so it's 4.7, and that gives us 1.15 centimetres. Um, that wee formula doesn't work for an odd number of values, so just a couple of things to take down here, just some information. So, um, the position of Q1 is uh, 8 over 4 plus a half, so it's 2 plus a half, it's 2 and a half. The position of Q3, 3 upon 8 over 4. Plus a half, which is six and a half. Again, what I've written, as I said, was number of values and um, quartiles. Then we need to take into account the required accuracy. So 
So if it's discrete, we find medium. And then the median of each half. So the median position is going to be a half n plus a half. For continuous, you don't really do that. It's just going to be a quarter end and three quarters end. 